Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, it's VR Painting with T-Bone. I'm uh, T-Bone, uh, camera operator, mad scientist, and today your instructor. So, uh, well, today I'm going to draw, I'm going to give you the title here in this little iPad. Let's draw it really quick. Okay, it is going to be a spaceship. Um, let's see, uh, uh, not exactly that one. We're going to be you in an iFlyer. All right, let's just get into it because uh, I don't like to waste time. And I would say subscribe and hit the bell, but that's redundant. Everybody says that. So let's get into it anyway. Here we go. We've got, make sure my eyes are set properly. Get the headphones in there. Okay, get some music up and then we'll uh, start painting away. Um, so let's do this eye flyer here. Here we go. Where's my, uh, I gotta turn my controller on, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. It's up. So what we're gonna do, let's see. Let's start with, what should we start with here? Um, I think I'm gonna do this icing, cause it's, it's uh, maybe this here. That's good. Yeah. Um, maybe, you know, maybe I'll stick with that. Let's just make it simple. And I'm going to throw up a mirror. That's because we're going to have two wings, so let's make the wings, uh, you know, the same using the mirror. Let's go with that. And I'm going to get this cube just for reference. Actually, you know what? Let's... Let's get this thing nice and big. We want a big thing. Uh, I can never grab it. It's it's kind of hard sometimes. Um, so I recently found this out. You hold the lock, and it, it just puts it on the ground for you. So I'm going to put it on the ground there. I guess that's a ground. I don't uh, this platform. Uh, oops, that's, why is it? Hold on a second here. This is not. Uh, I wanna. This isn't. These controllers are being weird. Hold on a second. Let me. Uh, let me start this up. over. Let's just grab that. And then see, you hit that lock button there. Boom. And it locks it right down. Um, and here you can skinny this up. I'm just really using this for reference, so I don't really necessarily need... Uh, how do I... These things aren't working for me right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, there we go. There it is. That's really weird. All right. Let's go like that. Let's make it wide. There we go. So we're gonna use this as just of a reference. About here, it's for the, you know. Um, yeah, music is pretty loud there. Okay. So, that could be the wing, I guess. I mean, I guess, I don't know if you guys see it, but it's like, this is the wing. Let me get this straight. This is to be perfectly straight. Yeah, these controllers are weird. It's raining outside, so maybe it has to do with the, you know, the rain affecting the um, sensors of. Uh, I'm just making excuses. Okay, so there's gonna be a gray here, icing. So let's start really making this thing. Now I need to make sure it's a straight edge too. So 
you'll see if I go like this, it does it over on that side. So it's kind of helping me out here because we're gonna have two wings on this um, uh, sky flyer. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do a line here. Why does it keep giving me that color? I don't want that color. Let's do a little red. It's like more of a, yeah, let's, there we go. But maybe the wire would look cooler. Yeah, maybe the wire. Maybe we can make it a little bigger. Yeah, yeah. we'll just do this. Try to kind of match the the grid. So it looks pretty good. We'll go low too. Or boom. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna do same deal there. Same deal here. I'm gonna throw. Oops. I'm gonna throw the. Oh, It really does help. Where, where are you? Yeah. That's what I thought. I just had to go above the line. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So yeah, we got we got that the hexagon there on that either side. Uh, it's kind of cool, you know, it's a cool sky flyer. And then, so I think maybe an X would be cool, you know, that would be neat. It's sweet. Yeah, the X looks cool. That looks dope. Cool. And then we're going to do one down the middle. That would be cool, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, that's cool. I think so. Just kind of clean it all up. And Give it a once over, kind of look at it. Yeah, it's cool. The sky flyer looks cool, man. Such a cool sky flyer. So, okay, so we got that going. And I'm gonna do little, little smaller ones and get a little more detailed in here and kind of scoot in. Be like, like human size, like this, this thing's huge, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna do little ones because that'd be kind of cool, right? I can just like little rock running up the, the sides there. That'd be pretty cool. That's sweet. Look at that. Wow. So this this movie Skyflyer, like my uh, or with these Skyflyers, my buddy, he's a he's a writer. And uh, he was writing about this idea about these sky flyers. So I was like, I'll draw one in VR, dude. Hey, thanks. So here you go, Larry from 7-Eleven. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I guess I could add a little more. But it's kind of, it's looking pretty cool. That's cool. Um, and then maybe we'll do like them coming in like this or something. Yeah. Same thing in this side. Just quickly throw it in. Yeah. Same thing here. That's me. And I'm kind of trying to use the graph a little bit there. Oh, that's kind of weird. Gotta, gotta be good. Getting neat with it. That's kind of cool. That's a good start, you know? That looks neat. So let's try to, I mean, they're wings, so they gotta be covered. 
So it's gonna look like a black, like a black gray. And then we'll do maybe like the paper. I wonder how that'll look. Hmm. Duct tape. Paper or duct tape? You need a duct tape with like a dark black. Yeah. That could be cool. And then, uh, just gonna cover up those so it looks more like a a wing, and I don't really need the, the ruler on. I can just cover this. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to go over though. So, anyway, uh, yeah. Let me uh, fill that up here. That looks cool. Went below there. Okay, so that looks still. That looks neat. So now, since it's an eye flyer or a sky eye flyer, this, the, you know, uh, the, you know what I said. Uh, I'm gonna maybe put a little circle in there. Um, since it's an eyeball, you know, because it's an eye flyer. And then we're gonna get a. Probably gonna connect it with something. I don't know. We're gonna just stick with that now, and we'll do paper. And I like to make it a little small because, you know. Actually, let's do it this way. Let me do it over here. Let me change the color back to a little like gray kind of looks. changing for me. Um, why don't we try a different texture maybe? Uh, let's see. Why don't we do to do purple. <laughs> yeah, see, he just wants to do purple when I'm... Uh, I'll do red. I think it's my lighting. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm just gonna go white just so it doesn't make it. Looks cooler, you know. Looks more like space. I'll give it a little blue for that, maybe. Change the contrast. I'll go. Go from uh, kind of backlight. That's cool. All right. All right. I'm just nitpicking now. All right. Let's just uh, put this back up here. Uh, let's just throw this away. Okay. Cool. Let's get back to this eye flyer. All right. Get back. I think you gotta be in the middle of the room. I'm kind of drifting as usual. <sighs> so yeah, this is what I usually do uh, a lot of the times uh, in my off time, and I just decided to start filming it so you guys can watch me as I figure it out. There we go. Because, you know, 
Yeah, we should probably leave a hole. Um, um, I wonder how I would be able to do that. Maybe I can make a cockpit. I've never done that. That would be interesting. Let's see there. That's kind of cool. That's, this looks like an eye, right? It's an eye. <laughs> and we'll just kind of close it up here. Kind of give it some cool texture. And I'll bring it up a little. Because it'd be cool to make it like play it, like real platforms almost. Um, so there's like a crease, yeah, I guess. They're like little panels. Kind of following the grid because it kind of works, you know. Just give it some space. Yeah, give it some space. Let it cool off. Let it, ch let it chill. Meditate. Relax. <laughs> so it looks. It's starting to look more and more like an eye. And I can just build. Build and build. And you could really get into detail. I'm just like kind of going quick for you know, time purposes. I don't want to waste your time. The mirror just makes it very simple. I don't know, I'm just kind of detailing. But it's kind of looking cool. And then uh, we're going to make it a little bigger. Don't mess up on me here. It's starting to glitch on me. I don't know why it does that. I think it's still doing. All right. That's kind of cool. Uh, so let's just add a front window, like a, a little front window, you know? Um, let's go here. There you go. It's weird. It's starting to act up on me. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I think this is going to be a black window here. That'd be kind of cool. Check it out, check out that eyeball. Whoa, it's like it's, I mean, come on. It's not Lord of the Rings, guys. Come on, come on. It's, a, it's an eye fire, bro. Okay, so then uh, we're gonna just do like a little, I don't know if I, oh, it's so intricate. I gotta get in, let's get in, why not? Can't get that to really <sighs> trying to make a circle. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get, right? Let's get to uh, straight edge to make this look at least decent. What should I do? Maybe I'll just do something like this. I'll do like connect it here or something. I don't know if that looks about right. Looks like an eyeball, right? Um, yeah. So 
sort of sloppy eyeball, but it's it's also a window, you know, like maybe the driver's in there or something, you know? The driver, the pilot, I'm sorry. It's a ship. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm new at this, guys, come on. Like, I, I'm a camera operator, you know? I'm mad scientist, I got other things on my mind, other things I gotta do. Um, I guess we don't really need a reference anymore, because, you know what, let's, let's, let's make something over here. And I'll get off the straight edge real quick. Because, oops, I'm gonna make like a little piece that would connect to this, like that. Perfect. Cool. And then make it even. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll touch it up later. So that's a nice, cool little eye. And let's, let's, let's take this, and it's time. To say goodbye to you. You you did us justice. You helped us with the wing of our eye fighter. Goodbye to you. I like to be dramatic with those. <sighs> Just you know, day in the life with this mad scientist. Okay, so now yeah, that's that's kind of cool. Kind of connected the dots there. Well, and then I could just add little things. Little. No, that's too. I'd say too high. Like little panels or something. I don't know. I'm just adding things. I need the. I need a ruler. I'm cheating, I guess. There we go, that's what I want. No, no, don't turn that way. I don't know why it's turning that way. I'm still learning this. There we go. Right. No, I almost had it. I hope you guys are at home, at home like cheering. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no one watching, but I'm like, kidding. Okay, here we go. Right there. Ah, that's good enough. It's more of a Lego version, I guess. I'm just adding some cool look to it. Um, I really don't know what the back I can should look like, but maybe. All right, you know what? I'm gonna just make some bolts. Like there's gonna be some bolts or something. I need to be closer. See, that's too small. There's like, what are these? <laughs> I don't know. It's starting to look kind of cool. There's like an eye. It's getting pretty, pretty close to done in my opinion. Um, I guess I can do a uh, bigger size to like, oh, my bad, let's get rid of the ruler, and then, yeah, get, get a little more detailed, why not, that's cool, maybe, maybe not, no, is that too much, am I going too far? Am I doing too much? Yeah, that's too much. Let's, let's make it subtle though, guys. Come on, subtleties. No. Ah, okay, whatever. You get the idea, right? Right? Okay, let's do. I feel like I'm gonna hit something. I'm, in the, I'm not even in the middle of the room. Okay, there we go. I do know where I am, by the way, I do. Just adding things just so it looks red. 
I just used rad. Yep, uh, it's coming back. <laughs> uh, actually, I just add bolts or something. Got some soldier and uh, what would their, their armor look like? I don't know. Let's think about that. Let's think about what they, are, they look like on the inside of this thing. Probably, I'm guessing if they're at all oops, um, like bad guys, maybe like maybe black or white, you know, would work, I guess. But I don't know. Because uh, are chilling and having a good night. I am. I mean, thanks for joining me, and uh, you know, make sure you guys uh, check out other stuff. We're just kind of, you know, this isn't working. Let's not do it. What do you guys say? <laughs> that was a waste of time. Sorry. Uh, I think we're getting close to finished here, folks. But a little thing I do want to add, and you know, I, is it time to pull the circle? I always try to avoid pulling the little guides because what if I want to add more, you know? So I don't even know if I know how to, I mean, I guess I could trigger it off, but it still operates as a guy it doesn't, oh, it doesn't. Hey, look, we all learned something today together. I'm not only instructing you, but I'm learning with you. Isn't that cool? <sighs> okay. That's cool. That's actually a fun little thing that I know now. Because we can make it like an antenna. I mean, you could do anything. I mean, you can make it look like a bomber and have like things like this. You know, like... I mean, not a, not a bomber. What is it called in the movie? I don't know. It's definitely not a bomber. So we think this is almost done here. Just want to add these little circles there. Because I think I'm going to put lights there. Uh, and then uh, just kind of do some touch ups. Really, I think it's almost done. Um, but I think that's really cool that uh, new thing we all learned today. Uh, not only that little cool trick, you can turn that on and off. Because now I can. Um, we. Uh, we built an eye flyer. You know? I don't know where you are. Uh, but yeah, that's the eye flyer. Uh, last thing is some lights. And, you know, I think since you stayed all the way to the end of the video, I am going to show you how to work the camera. I found out earlier today how to work a, a camera path so you can make this this eye flyer fly at the camera, you know? So we're gonna do that to kind of cap this off. Um, we're pretty much done. So the last step I think I'm gonna do is, ugh, where is it? The, uh, these lights. So this is gonna be hard because I want these red, but see how that's green, blue? I don't know how to like, specifically choose it because like when I do that it, it changes but anyway let's try no I'm trying to just get that oh do I have to wait for the light
Where are both of them? There we go. There's both of them. There's an eye flyer right there, folks. Now let's make the, the camera. And this is something I like just started playing with and it's kind of cool. Like me being a cinematographer, or camera operator, mad scientist, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I, I, by the way, I, I'm, not, I'm not really a mad scientist. That's a joke. Uh, I, don't, I really don't know science. I shouldn't joke about that right now because they're the ones that are doing some really cool stuff. Um, in fact, this game in itself. Okay, so these paths. I, I, I'm a big fan of Vector. If you like Vector, you might like this. Um, now, let's bring it over here. I want the camera to kind of go through here. And, uh, you know, let's, I'll, I'll, I'll do a run through as the camera, you know? Um, so I'm gonna go like that. And maybe do a little turn, but then keep going, okay? We wanna make a cool camera angle like that. So what I'm gonna do is I have this path. If you know anything about vector, it'll be easier, but it's a little bit advanced, but I'm gonna bring that out. And this is kind of my path for my camera. So I'm gonna keep going through here, all right? Yeah, I don't really wanna do that. You can just go all the way straight through because that's where the path is, right? Um, I really, you know, cut it there. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, like that, I guess. Oh yeah, you double click, double click the thumb. Um, again, I'm learning just like you. Uh, I highly recommend you get one of these though, if you got, if you don't have one, to be honest with you. If you're into 3D, if you're into VR, and if you got one of these headsets, and highly recommend it. So, okay, here's the shot. So, we're gonna start here. Let's, let's get our panel, because this is like our monitor. Uh, so, I like to click it. Okay, so right now, we don't really have much movement, but I can speed it up. I can change the direction. I could actually, well, change the direction with this and then uh, add another point if I want to and like spin around it and stuff. But we're gonna make it very basic and just let it look like it's flying past us, you know. Uh, and actually, you know what? Okay, hold on a second. What am I doing? I forgot one thing that's really cool. Uh, I've got lights, so uh, let's do, oh uh, shoot, let's get the straight edge. So let's do some, you know, uh, some lasers. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, okay, cool. So that's right. Um, now this is gonna be really dynamic going that way, because now we're gonna go through the lasers. It's gonna be cool, so. Um, all right, let's play it and let's see what it looks like. And it's really slow. So we wanna speed this up. Um, we can start feathering it in, you know, and it starts slow. As the camera guy, we know this. You can go a little, speed this up here. Oh, shoot. Speed this up. And then get to here and then really ramp it. Boom. You know, it'll just really give it that, that speed look. So let's watch it again. Look, here it goes. Maybe speed it up more. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, you can even get in here, change the points around. Yeah, kinda, I haven't figured out how to change the speed once you place it where you want it. I haven't figured that out, but I'll get back to you on that one. I just learned about this camera thing. It's kind of cool. I think it's a new feature. I'm not sure. Uh, but tilt brush is really crushing it, it's kind of cool. And, and you could even actually do this too. You can add an anchor point here. 
Oops, you can add an anchor point, right? And then change, and it'll just keep going. So it's, it's like, hey dude, watch it. You know, and like try to change your path. And it's like, so you can, you know, and then you, I guess, But yeah, it's it's just kind of a cool little new feature, um, and I guess maybe just drop a little lower, and then we'll change the course of the camera, which is fun because when you do that, um, oh, it, you know I don't really like the zoom. I haven't figured that one out, and it'll just screw things up, I think. But um, you could. Angle the camera, hold it to where the frame should be, and there. So now when it goes through, it'll change up that angle to fit that. It really kind of looks like, you know, we're flying past this eye flyer that I made. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, I'm not going to say the subscribe or hit the bell thing, because everybody says that. Everybody says that. So. If you want to, you can, I guess. Uh, you should, because it really helps me out continue doing this, because this is, this is fun. And if you guys learn anything, let me know. Leave anything in the comments, seriously, and let me know if you want me to do anything else, something different. Um, I take suggestions. I don't know how good I'll do them, but I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, you know, record this thing right here so we can watch it. Let's let's watch it together. Come on, let's there it goes. The eye flyer. Yeah man. So thanks for watching guys. Um, please come back for more because I'll have more, I swear. I will. I'll have a lot more. And um, Hope you enjoyed it. Because I'm gonna go